So I think one of my favorite sounds on the guitar is the sound of the harped harmonic. I'm not good at this and so I wanted to kind of put together some stuff which is going to show how I'm going to try and improve this and kind of start at the starting point which is roughly where I am with this. I don't think I'm particularly good at it. This technique I think can be traced back as far as Chet Atkins. I think Lenny Bro was a guy that really ran with it so he credits Chet Atkins with a lot of this stuff. Other players that do it, Tommy Emmanuel, Eric Johnson, Steve Lukather, you know, countless players, uh, Ted Green. So you can find examples of loads of this stuff online. Um, but I just wanted to kind of start at the beginning. So for me, what is going on is that if you imagine you've got the ability to play a harmonic 12 frets above wherever your kind of note is. So if you imagine you had a capo and you did it here, you'd have 12 frets above. You'd have an opportunity for these harmonics. Here, because you've got things 12 frets above. So that's the, the very kind of the crux of this thing is that in this right hand, you are kind of pointing 12 frets above what is happening in the left hand. That's the connection. So if I play this chord here, I can just point, you know, and rest gently above where the chord is and kind of just spell it out 12 frets above. That's basically what's going on with these harped harmonics. The, the first thing that, that Lenny Bro showed was this kind of chord. We're starting with like an A6 um, or an F sharp minor with these four notes. And he says to keep every note on every string different. So don't play things like this or this or, um, you know, normal chords. We want to play something which has something different on pretty much every string. So this is his starting point. So what he's doing, you play your harmonic, then you pluck. So I start on the D string and then I'm on the B string for that normal note. And then I'm playing the harmonic on the G string and plucking on the E string. Um, and then you could just follow the chord up. So try that, I guess. And yeah, you want to be quite precise with this. Um, right hand so I'm using the pinky for the plucked part and then I'm holding the pick in between the uh, middle finger and the thumb quite a handful and not super easy the other thing that happens is that this left hand for me gets quite tired um, because it's you know doing these things where you're holding down for a bit longer than you might otherwise so one other kind of a couple of bits that I'd show you um, first of all if you just fret on the seventh fret with a bar you can do this so we're going to be plucking the E string skipping two strings, sorry, harmonic the E string, skipping two strings and plucking normal, and then you follow that pattern down, so then you have A and B, D and E. And that makes it a, a cool pattern. Got like a pentatonic thing going on there, right? 
So try that. Or you could try going the alternate way. So you start with your normal note and then pick your um, harmonic. So you could start on the D string, E, open G, open B, E. So you then start in kind of the bottom part of the pentatonic, right? And one of the things that Lenny said that's really important is to kind of be aware of dynamics. So you're trying to pick the harmonic loud and you've got to be conscious that you're not over picking the or plucking the non-harmonic because that will naturally want to be louder. So try and be as even as possible. The, the bridge pickup tends to work best for this stuff, I find. Now you could just add on the eighth fret on the G string uh, your middle finger and you get like a dominant seven sound. And then I found this other really nice kind of thing. Add the 11th fret on the D string, we can do this. We can do this. got a nice sound um, but again the right hand is something that I'm needing to concentrate on because it wants to do silly things And then the left hand gets tired too. So those are kind of my starting points, I think. So, yeah. So I'm gonna practice some of this a bit more. So that would be kind of my starting point. Start maybe here. With this kind of smaller shape and experiment with moving notes and feel what it's like and then you could maybe try this pentatonic kind of idea on the seventh fret that will work basically any minor key that you're playing in so if I was playing A minor I could play that there or on the E probably as well. And experiment that starting with also maybe on the D string, so you're starting with a normal note. Um, then I guess become aware of the, the ability to make this into a dominant. Okay, and then from here, I think there's going to be more advanced stuff that we could try. But I think getting the idea of what's going on first and trying to get a bit more precise with this right hand is going to be what I'm focused on. I'll put these exercises up on Patreon. and the ideas that I'm gonna gradually over time try and get a bit more solid with this technique.
Well, hopefully that was like vaguely interesting. Um, there are plenty of players that are doing good lessons on this stuff. I think Lenny Bro might be the first guy that I might watch on this, uh, given that he's the guy that kind of came up with it to some extent. So um, yeah, but I'll put together some exercises now for the PDF. If you've got suggestions for this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comments. If this is at all useful, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, what you're doing, or what I'm doing, pick in between my uh, middle finger and thumb. I'm plucking with the little finger and I'm using this to kind of point. Oh, frets above my fretting hand. And then you experiment with what, whether you need to be kind of two strings apart or one string apart with this, the, the difference between the harmonic and, and stuff. You, you get a sense of that. You know, be honest with yourself about whether that sounds right or not. You know, like I'm missing stuff regularly there. And then, you know, watch what's happening with your pinky because that's kind of flapping about for me and causing noise as well. And then concentrate on not over kind of uh, compressing this left hand because it gets tired very easily if you do press too hard. It's a handful, isn't it? Right, I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.